Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I have a Poundland haul to share with you. Popped there yesterday. Um, as always, ended up buying the reusable bag. Um, I just now have bags of reusable bags because I always forget to take them. It's just a way of life now. But yeah, um, picked up a couple of bits. Uh, first thing I've picked up is a universal grow bag with strong handles. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I have this romantic notion that I'm going to plant some bits in the garden. Um, the whole thing is kind of like patioed and stoned. Um, and realistically, any plants I've ever put outside, the dogs have, have murdered, um, either through we or digging up. Uh, but we do have a raised bit, which we normally only use for barbecues. But I think I'm going to put pots and things along there and see if I can grow, because obviously the dogs can't reach that. Um, and then I saw this thing on Instagram where somebody grew potatoes in a bag. Um, so, yeah. This romantic good life notion in my head i may just kill everything but you know i've kept a child alive for almost three years so maybe i can grow some potatoes in a bag i don't know so i got those and then i picked up um a, a new dustpan and brush uh for outside um and this yellow was just i'm into it like green is definitely the color of the year for me it has been my very very much the colour I've been drawn to this year, but I've always liked yellow. I'm more of a mustard yellow fan, but it was this all grey, and I just like, this is such a joyful yellow. I'm like, yeah, pick that one up. Um, I have got three of the little cheapy solar lights. These ones are for a pound. These are to go in the front garden, because um, I, I am ashamed to admit, I've still got my father Christmas solar lights up outside. Um, so they need to be put away in the garage and uh, those put up. Um, I'm going to task myself with tidying the front garden this weekend, make it look a little bit more civilised. It's got a little bit overgrown. Um, last year I planted a load of wild poppy seeds and just kind of scattered them because that's how it was meant to be. And there's already quite a big bush. Um, and then I remembered I also planted, I thought I'd killed a basil plant, I put it out there. And then I also thought I killed a mint plant, but I'd put it there to see if something would happen. And they've all kind of come up. And the basil and the mint smell amazing, but it does look messy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to tidy that up this weekend. Um, I've got a, another cheapy pair of garden gloves. They come with some tiny little snippers that are always useful. Um, these aren't bad for, you know, they're only a pound. They may be a pound fifty. I got a pair last year. They did really well. I may have left them out in the rain, though, and slugs and things. So, yeah. Um, I picked up this cute little um, plywood, little crate thingy, herb garden, rosemary thyme and basil in the window at the moment. I have a strawberry plant and... Um, a mint plant which might look cute in there I don't know I picked it up you know I have the world's smallest house and I'm like yes I'm gonna have plants everywhere I'm like and I live with two clumsy dogs and a toddler and yeah I don't know what my brain thought you know when you see those beautiful houses on Instagram they've got like plants on every surface and hanging things I love how that looks but it's just not practical in my life you know I can't even have a square that doesn't have a toy in. Um, so how would I keep a plant without a dog or a, a toddler in it? Um, I picked up a pack of these um, tin foil containers. Uh, I basically, Ruben is obsessed with macaroni cheese and I always make far too much cheese sauce in one batch for a single portion. So I've just started making up larger portions. It freezes. It just makes life easier. You just need to remember to take it out of the freezer. Um, then I picked up this pot. They had lots of brown ones, but this was the only one they had in this kind of... It's looking stone 
on camera but it's more of a light khaki I would say and um, they also had a couple of white ones but I just thought this colour was a bit more I don't know I was just more drawn to the colour this colour I have no idea what I'm going to do with it um what else oh I picked up some um coronation I'm sure they're just the same ones they had for the jubilee um coronation napkins we <laughs> uh <laughs> i'm not sure um obviously we're getting a bank holiday in the uk for the coronation i think in the second week of may and i've bought a couple of bits and then john's like oh why don't we go away but we've not organized anything and you know if you leave this right to them in close to it they'll all be gone and i like a theme we know this and then the last two things i picked up with these Mr. Men um, copy colouring book. Um, they're slightly too old for Reuben, but there's pages to colour in. Like, there's a story as well, but then there's a... Where is it? And there's a page of stickers. They were a pound. Um, basically, one of Reuben's best little friends, her surname is Strong, and they didn't have any little Miss books. They were all Mr. Men ones. So I got her the Mr. Strong one. And then I picked up Ruben the Mr. Happy. Because I thought it was stinking cute. So yeah, that. Also bought a pop. But I drank that yesterday. So yeah, that is my Poundland haul. Ramble, ramble. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're all okay. Uh, take care, guys. I'll talk to you in the next one.